It's a changing of the guard at Prestonsburg High School's football program. For the first time in over 20 years, John DeRossa won't be roaming the sideline. Brandon Brewer comes from Powell County as he is looking to keep the tradition going in black cat country. Prestonsburg, although coming off a seven-win season, still captured another district championship. However, that will be a challenge in 2018 as Leslie County and Shelby Valley are expected to vie for a district championship. You know, I've been up here since we started summer practice. Um, uh, transition's going great, you know, uh, just got a lot of help and people point me in the right direction up here. And, and you know, it's a, it, it's a good feeling to, you know, have it be a, a program where people want to win and expect to win. It's, it's a program where um, the kids know how to work hard and the kids, uh, the kids understand, you know, the meaning of, of competition. And so, you know, that's obviously made the transition uh, much easier. So, uh, you know, in terms of, uh, of pressure to, you know, for, for winning, it's, yeah, obviously there is pressure to win, but uh, we also have a, you know, an, you know, a young football team. Things have gone pretty good so far. I mean, been out here work, working from six to nine every night. Uh, it's, it's different from going from John DeRosa to Coach Brewer over there. I mean, big changes from going from learning an offense since I've known since eighth grade to my senior year, learn a different one. It's been tough, but Coach Brewer's a great guy, great coach, and looking forward to what he's going to do this season. And then improved a lot this year. We were hoping to do real, real good, and especially with the help of Coach Brewer. He's a, he's a real good coach. He helps a lot. He showed me a lot of new things, and I look forward to this year with him. Pressburg is currently in a transition period. For the Black Cats to be successful this year, Prestonsburg will need their senior leaders to step up. You know, I tell our kids that, you know, leadership is pretty easy. You come to practice, be excited to practice, uh, you celebrate, you know, with your teammates, uh, you know, tell them good job, uh, and, 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 and let them see you working hard. And, and that's, that's, you know, you can be a leader by doing those few things right there. Be successful, we just need to come together as a team, come uh, just... You know, develop a brotherhood and just come together. Kids are uh, very, you know, very coachable and, and you know, like I said earlier, it's a learning curve. And each week it just seems, you know, the kid, the, that learning curve is getting a little bit straighter each week. Um, and, and, you know, just they're working extremely hard. And there's just, you know, there's a lot we're putting in on them and, and a lot we're throwing at them. But uh, they're, they're doing very well. Expectations, expect to do a lot better than what we did last year, coming together. Like I said, there, we're going to come together and we're going to have a great season. It's great, great, really is. It's an honor to play in front of these people. A lot of people come out, pack the stands. We need everybody out this year to come out and watch us on Friday nights.